right. G'day, cheeky dogs. It's so nice to see everyone here. I am super, super excited for today's episode. We are going to be doing a watch along party for the Bluey season three episode slide with Leela and Bingo as the main characters for this episode. So I'm super excited to see it. Hello to everyone. Hi, I've just got my live chat set up so I can chat with you guys as well. We've got about 10, 11, 12 minutes until the episode starts. I will have my headphones on because of copyright issues, but if you would like to watch along, you can in Australia on the ABC iView website or app. But if you're overseas, you do need a VPN. There's some information in my description box about how you can use that so you can watch along as well. But otherwise, good day everyone. Let's see who's over in the live chat. Hi, uh, Scooby Diva Doo. Hi, Danny. Hi, Angel Bluey. Hi, Taha. Hi, Laura. Hey, Exchange Student. Hey, Snowy. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Wales. Ah, <laughs> hey everyone. Um, also, thank you so much for um, earlier today. I dropped my video about Winton's dad and his like love story and secret backstory that's been going on for three seasons in Bluey. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure that you do after this live stream. Um, but I absolutely loved making that video. It was so much fun. Hey, hey everyone. It's so good to see you all. Uh, Octo, my favorite color is pink and yellow. They're definitely my favorite colors. Um, oh, Scooby-Doo, uh, Scooby-Doo-Doo, I saw it, I believe it, oh, I'm so glad you got to see it, I appreciate it. I think Winton's dad's story is just so interesting, and again, like, confirmation that, like, you know, the creators are just as invested in the show, obviously, as we are. They love putting in all these Easter eggs and hidden backstories throughout all the different episodes to see if we pick up on it. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, oh, thanks, Sissy, uh, was it, Sissy Nell, I'm such a big fan, thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. Um, okay, Mario fan says, are you excited for season four of Bluey? We have no official season four yet. So yes, let's talk about it. I have it pinned at the top here. There is meant to be a surprise announcement after today's episode. So we'll be watching the episode and then most likely the ad straight away afterwards will be like the surprise announcement. I've already posted about this though on my community tab a couple of days ago that I'm almost positive that this is just going to be them saying, oh, we've got another Bluey episode next weekend. Because Slide is meant to be our last episode. It was meant to be just the nine. This is meant to be the last one. But like a couple of days ago, the ABC iView TV guide updated and it sent out like a notification to everyone. And it showed that they put the new Bluey Cricket episode on for next Sunday. So I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. But I would love if it was going to be like some more information about other stuff. That would be great. Um, Nancy, what's your favorite episode again from season one? Uh, probably The Creek, I think is my favorite from season one. Um, love you show that video about when his dad that you made was interesting. Thank you so much. I'm glad you liked it. I had to do it as a voiceover just because everyone in my household is sick. So it's been really hard to film. Um, so yeah, every now and again, when you see me doing voiceover videos, it's usually because I just don't have time to actually physically film in my real life because I'm too busy being a chili. <laughs> um, the Bluey fan has quit says, what do you think is the next episode? It'll be cricket. So we know, we know for sure. It's on all the TV guides on not just the ABC Australia one, but like Foxtel and all that sort of thing. So it's, it's absolutely cricket will be out next weekend. So we will have another watch along next Sunday for cricket, which is when we get to see Rusty's family. So we know it's a Rusty focus episode. We find out about his sister. We learn more about his dad as well. So I'm really excited. I don't know if we're going to know much more about his mum, but, um, the Gotta Be Done girls who do the podcast, the first original Bluey podcast, they already did an interview with, I think it's Richard Jeffrey about this episode. So I'll make sure to listen to that before we do it so I can give you any extra information. Um, okay, what have we got in the chats here? Who's the worst Bluey character? Oh, I don't think there are any really bad ones. They're all really amazing. But obviously the most grumpiest is like the grouchy granny pug from Granny Mobile. Uh, what is my favorite season, Life in Cartoons? I mean, season two was really good, really good. And season three though, of course is, I mean, it's all been amazing. Like they just keep reaching a new level every single season. So I think no matter what the current season, I feel like is usually gonna be people's favorite season because it's just something new and fresh and amazing that they're trying to do with the animation. Um, so Margie, where's the long dog? Oh, can you guys see the long dog? It's near Bingo and Leela, if I can give you that clue. Um, also the Chattermax, you should be able to see the Chattermax in my video as well. Not, not the ones in my earrings, but an actual Chattermax behind me somewhere. Um, okay. Uh, Andrea, what is my family stuck with? The flu. Thank you for asking. It's not Rona. Uh, we got checked. It's just the flu, but it's not fun. It's definitely not fun. Um, so how many episodes are left this season? OG Mr. Smiley 09 us. 
So we actually, so we have cricket next weekend, and then we will still have Ghost Basket, which I'm sure by now you guys know that I'm convinced that that is the Halloween episode. And then we have The Sign and Surprise, which are most likely the longer episodes that Joe has talked about in the Behind Bluey podcast podcast uh which of course is rad and frisky's wedding we've seen like some leak images about that as well so i'm excited that they're going to be longer episodes i think that's really cool because like is it one minute longer is it like 14 minutes long i don't know let me know in the live chat here what you guys would prefer would you like like a 14 minute episode or still like that sort of eight minute sleepy time kind of length episode uh Wales Country Balls asks, what is your top three favourite Bluey characters for side characters? Uh, Muffin, Rusty, Jack, probably. Um, my favourite animal, Dalmatians and Tigers. Um, oh, we've got Emma Games, please be a new healer baby at the end. I think if we get a new healer baby, it'll be Rad and Friskies. Um, and I think it'll be... Talk I know, it'll be interesting to see what a mixed breed dog looks like on the show, because we haven't really seen that before. So that'll be really interesting. Uh, Taylor Burns, are you going to buy more Bluey merch? Um, it honestly just depends if they come out with some more cool stuff. My kids play with this nonstop, so it gets a bit hectic trying to put it back all the time for when I have to film. Uh, but they love it, so it's it's worth it. Uh, Andrea, why does no one like Wild Girls? It's my new favourite episode now. Wild Girls is a great episode. I think just in comparison to all the other ones we got from this, like, section, these nine episodes, it fell a bit flat compared to the others. It's still a lovely episode, though. And the music is amazing. Actually, that's something I wish. The Behind Blue podcast at the start, they would talk to Joff Bush at the end about the music. And they haven't done it on the last few episodes. And it's really frustrating because I love hearing about his inspirations for it. So hopefully he'll be on this Behind Blue podcast tomorrow. Uh, what have we got? I think the episode special should be 14 or 30 minutes. That would be really cool. Yeah, I think it would be really cool if it's like a full 14 minutes. There's a lot they could do with that, I think. Um, Nancy says, I thought the sign is episode 48. Yeah, we, we don't know what they're doing. Initially it was because Cricket was slated to be like the last episode, but now it's not. They keep changing around with the episode numbers, so I think we just have to kind of like give up on where the order could be because they could change it on us at any time. So that's that's all we know. Uh, Exchange student, thank you for coming to watch the live. I appreciate it. Uh... Nigel's husband, do you think Brandy will find a girlfriend soon? Um, I'm not sure. They haven't really shown any LGBTQ characters at all in Bluey, and I'm not sure if they ever will. Um, that's just not something that they've talked about. There are a lot of those members who work on the staff at Ludo Studios, so I feel like, obviously, they would love to see that as well. Whether they do that with Brandy, I do not know. But I can see Brandy having, like, an adoption storyline. I think that would make sense a lot with her character, and that could be really cool. Um, we need more pretzel. He hasn't been in a lot of episodes, says Bluey Bingo's edits. Yeah, pretzel had like his one like toilet line so far for this whole of season three. Poor pretzel. Maybe one day we'll find out more about him. Oh, thank you, Kenny. I appreciate it. Um, Scooby Doo, -Doo am I going to put the video on? Um, or am I going to VidCon? Sorry. Uh, no, I'm not going to VidCon, unfortunately. Being, being a mum has its limits for things that I can do. <laughs> Um, but I am, I am traveling actually a bit soon, so I'm going to try and do a bunch of content before I travel. Ooh, I think that was my kids. <laughs> my husband's with my kids right now. They're about to set up like a jumping castle outside, so that'll be fun. Oh, and I think that's my daughter. She realizes that I'm not there. I'll be there soon, I promise. Um, okay, going back to the live chat. Um, Oh, Noelle says, where do you think the best long dog hiding spot is? See, I don't know if you guys have noticed, in season three, I talked to one of the um, background artists and he said that like, depending on which team does the art, depends on how difficult it is to find. And I love when it's like hard to find, but not when it's impossible to find unless you have like HD full screen. So the one in Dragon was really cool, but I just, no one could see it because it was like too blurry for us to be able to. So I like when you can see it, like the one in, um, born yesterday where it was holding like a pie i love it when they have like something linking them to the episode i think that's really cool yes just looking over at my live stream of abc kids now we're on peppa pig we've got two minutes until it is going to start okay um 
Okay, Zachary asks, Margie, do you think Winton's dad is rich? And do you think they broke up to do something with money? I think he has an underground pool. They are around 65 grand. Yeah, Zachary, I was going to mention this in my video. So the fact that Winton says that his dad has a pool in Brisbane means that like he's got a bit of money because it's not very common for pools in Brisbane. Um, they are there, obviously, but like compared to like North Queensland where it's very common, it's very different. Um, so maybe he does. I mean, his car doesn't signal that he has a lot of money. But he's from the UK, so I don't know. I'd love to explore like that part of like Winton's family relationships. Like, did he fly over and meet an Australian, get married, and it didn't work out? But now he's decided to stay for his son. I don't know. Winton's family backstory is just fascinating. I think. Elena, see what's the surprise announcement? I'm pretty sure it's about the new episode next weekend. Um, when are the new? Okay, Andrea asked when are the new episodes of Bluey coming on Disney Plus? We still don't know. There's no official announcement, unfortunately. I doubt that today's announcement is going to be that because this is broadcast to Australian audiences, so they wouldn't really care about it. Uh, but the idea is that usually once all the episodes are out, then it can take about six months for it to get to Disney+. Plus. But we know that Disney has these episodes. They've been using them in their own promos. They've accidentally leaked two of them already. So Disney actually leaked Cricket in India and they leaked Cubby in Russia. So they have the episodes. We know they have the episodes. So I don't know. We might see them even sooner than usual. So my honest guess was that they would bring them all out before Halloween. So that way everyone would end up getting to watch Ghost Basket together for Halloween. So I think it could be before then. But that's just a guess from me. Fingers crossed anyway. Because if you had to wait another year, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> I'd be so upset about that. Uh, Brooklyn asks, who is the most underrated character? Um, sometimes I feel like Indy's mum is. We've, we kind of forget about Indy's mum sometimes and she's really cool and super interesting. So I feel like maybe Indy's mum is underrated character. Uh, Angel Bluey, would you want an autistic dog in Bluey? Yeah, I think Bluey's done a really good job of trying to show kids on like all over the spectrum from anywhere basically. Um, so I think that would be really cool if they showed someone who had autism. I think it's, um... What is it? Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, because I watch obviously a lot of kids shows with my children. They did a really good episode about it. So I think Bluey could do a really cool episode about it as well. Um, Alison. Oh, thank you so much. That's so lovely of you. Uh, Dems World says, which is your favorite of Bluey's friends' parents? Maybe Wendy and Pat. I love them so much. I think they're so good. Wendy's had such a redemption arc for season three. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Mackenzie's dad's pretty funny too. Um, so, uh, FXC Cousins, do you think that Winter's dad will get remarried? I think he could. Um, it's really interesting. In my last video, I talked about the fact that Joe Brown wanted to see, like, Cornelius and the Terry's mom again. Like, it'll be again in the longer episode. So there's a possibility that maybe they get married off screen and we see them all together. That would be really cool. I, yeah. Those longer episodes are going to be amazing. I already know it. Um, where have we got? Wish I could watch the new Bluey episodes. Yeah, VPN's a good way, or... There's other ways as well. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Peppa Pig has finished officially. Haha. -ha. We are on to ads. All right, I'm going to get myself set up. So if you're watching along as well, make sure you get yourself ready. It should be just about to start. Da, 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 da. All right, we're just on ads at the moment. There we go. Oh, good. Okay, we've probably got about another maybe oh, 10 seconds of ads and then the episode will start. Um, Scooby Diva Doo, Scooby Diva Doo. I love that name. Uh, do you think that Judo's parents are divorced? Yeah, I do. I think they are. Um, there was the other option of like maybe that her dad had passed away. That could be an option too. But I do think that possibly it makes sense that she's divorced because she's not always there. So where is she? At her dad's house. Ah, oh, haha, the episode has started. Um, so just some quick background knowledge, guys. For those of you who didn't know, Slag was developed years ago. They actually had the whole black and white storyboard of it out. It was on Bluey Wiki maybe two years ago, as well as like some of the still linked together images. So this episode has been in the making for a long time. Bluey! Ah, oh, that's cute. They're playing paper, scissors, rocks. Ah, <gasps> oh. What a slide. Okay, I do like this. It looks like it's going to be a Bingo Leela Bandit style episode. Oh, with lots of bugs, of course. Wait, where's our, where's our rock pool gone? A little, oh, the little pond, fish pond that Chili wanted. That backyard changing all the time is so frustrating. 
Because that, in the episode Trades was a very beautiful one. Slide. Okay, so it seems like they're doing a bit of a thing about, like, parents being big, kids being little, because they keep showing, like, the poor bug being moved around by them. Oh, thank you, Zachary. That's really kind of you. Haha, <laughs> Terrace, you found Chattermax. Good job. Ah. Uh, this is really cute. It really reminds me of my childhood in Australia. Just constantly going on water sides. And also the fact that, like, I literally did this with my children last time we went back. This is really cute. <gasps> it's the leaf. Oh, the walking leaf makes a return. Oh, That's really cute. Yeah. I love that they always incorporate bugs so much into bingo storylines. Oh, we've got two bugs now. Caterpillar and the walking leaf. Ah, uh, you found the log dog as well, Pterosaur? Good job. Ah, oh, Leela! Another bug! Oh, yeah. So we call them ladybirds in Australia, but I know other countries call them ladybugs. And I never realised that until, like, recently for some reason. Oh, wow, they're bringing all the bugs in. We got the ants as well. This is... This is so funny. This is such a call-out to, like, Bingo always having bugs in her episodes. Yes, Natalia Cat, I noticed Leela's, Leela's voice does sound different. It's the same voice actress, but you can hear that they've aged. You really can. Oh, that's so cute. It's so, she's like a kid's idea. Aww. This is really cute. Grasshoppers as well. This is really cute because it's like, you know, like being aware of your environment, watching out for nature, realizing that we're big and like some things in nature are small. I love that. I think that's really sweet. Oh, okay. This little caterpillar is going to be the one that like gets in their way. This is really cute. It's a very self-contained episode. It's just them in the backyard. So from an animation standpoint, this would have been a lot easier for them to do, I think. Not as many changing scenes. Oh no! Bingo's got her eyes closed! Ah! Oh, we have a new bug! Oh, it's a shiny one. Aww. Oh, this is, yeah, for anyone who has kids who likes bugs, or if you, in general, also like bugs, this is a really cute episode. It's because it's the water. They want the water. Oh, Nana squishes bugs. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. Talking about how, you know, all animals have parents. Yeah. Oh. This is a really sweet little episode. <laughs> They're lucky that Nana's on here. I agree, Sergeant. Nana, no. This is a really, like, just a cute little episode. Aww. I can see, though, why they might not have wanted to have ended on this episode. Because it's not, like, a super strong ending. It's a very sweet ending. Like, it's just a sweet little episode with Leela and Bingo. But I can see, like, it doesn't have, like, that oomph from, like, every other season. Like, you know, ending with Fairy Tale for season 3A. I can see why they might want to end with Cricket instead. Uh, Dem's World, where is Bluey? I'm guessing she's somewhere with Chili. Maybe she's just hanging out inside. No, okay, no. If there's a water side, she'd be outside too. So she must be somewhere with Chili. Oh, the little caterpillar made it onto the slide. Oh, this is cute. They're like trying to pick up the bugs as they go along. Little caterpillar. The music's very beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the song, like, Poor Little Bug on the Wall. <gasps> oh no! Big fella! Alright. This is a thing that we saw from the ads. Can't stop the big blue guy. <laughs> Picture of Bandit's bum. Oh no! Oh! That's going to get censored out of Disney+. Plus. 
Bandit just ran into the gnome, like how the swing usually like slams into him. Just did the same thing with the gnome. That's probably going to get cut from Disney. Speaking of which, um, if you guys didn't realize, Facey Talk on Disney Plus got changed. They put Trixie on the toilet back in. It's not edited out anymore. Oh, that's cool. They're showing it like transformed from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Oh. Um, but yeah, Facey Talk, guys. Get a chance. Go back and watch it if you hadn't seen the original version. But yeah, you now see Trixie on the toilet. Oh, okay. We're at bingo school. Ah. Ah. That's beautiful. I love seeing the friendship between Bingo and Leela. That's cute. That was a cute little episode. But yeah, nothing super amazing or special. Very cute one. I can see why this might have taken them a while to make, like, so that they could get the right idea for it. <coughs> okay, so, the announcement. They've run this one, they've had lots of fun. <gasps> yep, he's up for a game of cricket. Yep, we can see all the dads trying to bowl Rusty out. Yep, that's what it was. So they showed us a little hint of, um... Yeah. Of the next ep next week's episode, of Cricket. So that's what the announcement was about, which we guessed. We had already guessed that that's what it was. Um, it looks interesting, though, because you can see that it's like all the friends in the park and it's Rusty there with like Pat and Bandit and Stripe trying to bowl him out. So I'm guessing maybe the flashbacks might be with like his family playing Cricket and that's what we're going to see more. Or maybe like they come and join him at the end and that's how we see him. That'll be really cool. Um... But, okay, guys, in the live chat, though, let me know what you thought of the episode Slide. Uh, Jiggly Sense says, okay, I think Slide has to be one of my new favorite episodes. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Taylor Burns, is more episodes going on Disney Plus? No, not yet that we know of, unfortunately. Uh, Love You Show, yes, the episode where Rad and Frisky get married is going to happen for the end of season three, so I think that's really cool. Uh, Dems World, maybe Bluey Lance play cricket? Yeah, I think that's going to be part of it. Yeah, Sergeant, I, I've seen the stuff about lingo. I think this episode is probably going to, especially the ending, might push that a bit more. Um, Willow says, best episode ever. Angel, yeah, I am a little bit sick as well. I'm sure you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm, I'm much better now, but like my voice is still a bit funny. Uh, Tara, so are we going to meet Rusty's sister, Dusty? Yes. So next Sunday, we will have another live stream for the episode Cricket, and we are going to meet Dusty in it. Um... Where was Bluey in this episode? I don't know. I'm guessing she was somewhere with Chili, though. Um, we can see... Yeah, no one can see uh, Bingo as a middle child. Yeah, cool. We're assuming the Run and Frisky longer episodes will be in December-ish. We don't know the release. We initially thought that Cricket was going to be, like, the Christmas episode because it's around Boxing Day with the Ashes. But obviously that's not the case anymore. Um, oh, Sergeant, how about the rest of the censored episodes? Will Disney uncensor it or people need to wait for BBC to air them? Yeah, so I went back after I saw that Facey Talk had been uncensored by Disney+. Plus. I went back and checked all the other episodes and they're all still censored. So they still have the same little edits like Crazy is Missing from uh, Mini Bluey. Explorers, they still have the different dialogue, things like that. So only Facey Talk was changed, which was really interesting because it was probably like the one that I could kind of understand because like you don't want to encourage children to take their phones into the toilets while their parents are on the toilets. Like that, I guess I could get that. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I'm happy though. I really liked that episode with Facey Talk. I thought it was great. Um, Zachary, why does Disney censor it anyways? I don't know. It just depends, I think, on who's going through it as well because they were not as strict in season one. There was a lot of stuff that went through season one that they didn't allow in season three. So it was, I don't know, it's interesting. Okay, Avery says, who's your favourite character in Bluey? Ah, Muffin is. Oh, Taylor Burns. Oh, you got the new Bluey book? Oh, I've got the fancy restaurant cookbook, which has a lot of the recipes as well. I really love it. It's so fun. Ah, oh, team all fun. I don't like the fact of teaching kids to pick up random bugs, that they could be poisonous. That is, that is very true. I think them using the sticks at the end was like a good way of showing like how to do it properly. So I did like that they did that. <laughs> Anthony the best. Remember, in the USA, we are a sensitive audience. <laughs> yeah, Gemsworld, I'm excited for the surprise as well. Um, 
Nancy, are you going to make more breakdowns videos of Bluey? Yeah, of course. So my breakdown video for this episode slide will be out tomorrow. Um, and then if there's any extra information from the Behind Bluey podcast, I'll put that out during the week. Um, I'm still working on my Coco video and then obviously still working my way through season one breakdowns as well. So still got lots to go, guys. Lots and lots. Um... Josh, I'm not sure about that theory. Um, yeah, I don't know about it. Okay, Coco sister, you should be. <laughs> uh, Wolf says, it was such a cute and silly episode. I laughed when Bandit slid in. Also cried when they said the mummy and daddy will miss the bug. Yeah, that was a really sweet little line. I agree, that was really that was really gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I love Leela as a character. I think she's a lot of fun. I also think it's really interesting that like she has a little younger brother who's like even smaller than her. Um, Chaotic Neutral, you bring up a good point. Why hasn't Ludo made plushies of Indy yet? I don't know. Like, we've got so many plushies of, like, all the other characters. Like, like Lucky, for example. Barely in the show compared to Indy, especially season three. And yet, there's no Indy plushie. And we have a Winton one. It's up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But, um, yeah. I don't know why. Hopefully, we'll get an Indy one soon. Um, oh, Willow, the surprise was that they're going to release the episode Cricket next week. That's what it was. Which we already knew and they showed us, like, a ten second clip from Cricket. So it's, it's what we already had confirmed because they changed the TV guys and everyone knew about that. Uh, what have we got? I can't wait for... Ingrid says I can't wait for Radley and Frisky's wedding episode. It's Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Where was the long dog in Dragon, says Elena. It was in the treasure chest. So when they go into the cave, at the very end, the treasure chest, like when it's opened up, there's a long dog on the top. You can't really see it, like, even when you zoom in, because it still looks kind of blurry. But I do have a high-definition version of it over on my Instagram. But yeah, it was a really hard one to find. Uh, oh, woof, that's a really good point. Will they change Ladybird to Ladybug in Disney? Maybe. I didn't even think about that. I wonder if they'll think about that. Yeah, I don't know. That's actually a fantastic question. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, six months, basically, until New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, that long. Uh, Shrek, will Brandy adopt? There's no official word, but I think it would be a fantastic storyline to see Brandy adopt a child and then they could obviously go into that type of family, like, situation. Because I think the more they show different types of families, the better it is, obviously. So, that's interesting. Um, okay. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Sorry, guys, don't spam, please. Um, I wonder what kind of breed of dog Brandy will adopt. I don't know. I think it'd be really cute. There's been a lot of fan art about it on Instagram. It's really beautiful. Uh, Nancy, am I going to make more breakdowns of season one and two? Yes, I've been working on the claw in markets recently. Um, European saying ladybug instead of ladybird. Yeah, I wonder if it's just an Australian, maybe UK thing. If there's anyone in the chat from the UK, let me know if you say ladybug or ladybird. Because I assume that we must say it because the UK say it. Um, will Chili have another baby? I don't think so, Shrek. I, I think they're going to save that for somebody else. Um, what's one of my favourite characters, Kenny? I have so many. Muffins, of course, my favourite. Yeah, Lavisha, you're right. Joe Brum has a lot of choices to make for new episodes, a lot of other topics as well, like LGBTQ. He's got loads. Like, most of the time he's trying to teach a lesson that he's taught his daughters. So a lot of the episodes are based off the games that he played with his daughters. Like, um, Statue World, where everyone dies. That's a real thing that his girls said to him. So a lot of it's based off, like, his family life and, like, them working through those things with kids. So it'll be interesting to see what they end up putting in the show. Aha! Tail Snow Fox says, I'm from the UK and we say Lady Bird. I figured it had to be a UK word, that's why we said it. So yeah, I don't know, I guess the BBC won't change it then, so I wonder if Disney will bother. Because they say it a lot. Um, Team Orphan, are Bingo and Leela the same age? Yes, they are. They're the same age at school. Uh, Terrace, my least favourite episode of season one is Blue Mountains. <laughs> Ah, uh, Blue Mountains. Never the fun one. Alright guys, I'm going to be online for about one more minute, so if you have any last minute questions, feel free to ask me. But like I said before, I will have my breakdown for this out tomorrow, and then any extra information will be out during the week from the Behind Bluey podcast. Um, do you think we... So Kate Neutral asks, do you think we'll ever see other wild dogs in Bluey other than dingoes? I don't know, it'd be interesting to see a wolf, obviously. I feel like that's like the most obvious choice for like a wild dog because it's like the origin um so that could be something really cool to see i think 
Funniest episode, Minto. Um, oh. But I don't know. Stories is pretty funny. Stories is very funny. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So Red Healer says, There's an image for surprise that's going around that is a bandit holding a drink holder with a tennis ball like a baby and the baby supplies in the background. I know the one you're talking about. It links up with the other leaked image of where Bluey is like shooting him with like a Nerf gun style thing with tennis balls. Um, and then he's holding a um, bottle koozie with a tennis ball on top. Um, yeah, it could be a hint possibly towards a baby and them showing Bingo how to hold one. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Or he could just be saying, like, this is my precious, like, bottle koozie that I'm protecting from Bluey. So, who knows? Who knows? All right, guys. It is 3.20 here, so I am going to have to head off and start rewatching this episode and doing my breakdown. Sorry. <coughs> oh, my voice is almost gone. Um, but thank you all so much for coming by and for watching. I really appreciate it. Maria, do I have a Squishmallow? No, but I heard this bluey one's coming out. That would be awesome. All right, guys, I will see you all in the live chat for tomorrow's. I'll make sure that the video is a premiere so we can chat while we're watching it. And otherwise, I will see you all in another video as well.